Thank you, Brewster. Thank you by standing beside such an incredible woman all here. I'm deeply humbled for this recognition and really honored by people it's, uh, and this incredible movement, um, which all started me and upheld our dear friend Kathleen by her. And uh, thank you to the nominees, whoever put their heart out there to recognize my work. Thank you very much. And uh, I guess I'm now an elder. <laughs> and you know what that means? You guys got to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, uh, I first met Kathleen at a food secure conference in Ottawa where I was asked to speak in 2010. And there I shared a story about all the challenges that our people face in the North in relation to food insecurity and, and, uh, and our decline in food sources due to climate change. And, uh, and, and this big story I, I, I had shared and, uh, and how it's all affected our way of life. And after the talk, Kathleen comes up to me and she's just crying. Like she, tears were just pouring down her face. And she said to me, um, I just feel so overwhelmed with the things that you've brought here to the forefront and uh, of the disparities and challenges that we face in the Arctic. And uh, this is when I sensed a really soft soul, really big heart, and how dedicated she really was. And uh, I was proud to have met her, even if it was a short time. Kathleen started the Indigenous Circle of Food Secure Canada as well. And uh, she's strived to create a space for us to bring our stories here, to convey our own stories and our own voices with respect to our food security and food sovereignty in our respective regions. This has been at the forefront this past week. And thank you, Food Secure Canada, for that. We've had some incredible discussions over the past week, well, days. I don't even know what a week. I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> and uh, this brought us together. And uh, one of the things that came out very strong from all of this is that we do have our own solutions within our communities, and that we do need the help of our brothers and sisters in the other worlds and other cultures. We can't do it in silence. We can't do it alone. And, uh, and I look forward to working on that. This conference has brought a tremendous amount of education from all aspects of our food system. I've never, I, I've never had the time to sit down and look at the corporate side of our food systems and <coughs> learn a lot about that at this conference. And we need to know that as we go forward with China, assist Canada in their in its work. It is so powerful and so great to see many young people here. I just feel so privileged to be with the young people here. And how much you guys are getting and how much you're learning and what you're going to do for the future. And I really um, look forward to the next conference that there be more Aboriginal youth sitting in those chairs. us to talk to one person, be kind, build relationships with each other, share in love and respect with one another. That's the most powerful thing that could ever happen. John Eichert talked about that yesterday too, very loud and clear. And that uh, so together we can address these hard issues. And uh, we have to also keep our Mother Earth at the center of everything that we do in our thoughts, in our minds, how we step on her, how we take care of her, how we pick her plants, how we smell her flowers, drink her water, and how we must really work together to do that. 
and, the spirit, and our spiritual connections to her. One step at a time, one person at a time. And I thank the Creator for this moment, and I thank our ancestors for this moment as well. And I thank the, my ancestors for all of you. I um, also want to thank my incredible team, the Arctic Institute of Community-Based Research. We started with $10 in 2007 over Little Breckage. <laughs> and uh, that's Molly, Jody, and Caitlin, Masi Cho. Thank you, and our, my incredible friends here at Peace Care Canada that I've made over the years. Thank you so much. Thank you to your board of directors. You guys are doing good work. I hope one day a big foundation will just come and sit here. <laughs> Thank you for this honor again, and uh, I've definitely been recharged here. I'm going back with more knowledge from world food systems and how it operates and I will do my very best wherever I go to educate our future generations so that we can make a better world. Thank you very much. Thank you Kathleen. Thank you.